When people talk about reef filtration, they usually jump straight to refugiums, media, or bacteria. But the truth is, filtration really starts way earlier than that. Mechanical filtration is the very first line of defense for your system, and it's doing a lot more work than most people realize. At its core, mechanical filtration is all about physically removing stuff from the water. Uneaten food, fish waste, algae, really anything floating around that doesn't belong in the water column. If you catch that stuff early and remove it, you're making life easier for every other part of your filtration system. And that's where filter socks come in. Filter socks are usually the first thing your water hits when it enters the sump, whether that's a traditional sump or an all-in-one setup. Their job is simple, catch detritus before it has a chance to break down. And they do that job really well as long as you stay on top of them. Here's the key thing a lot of reefers miss. A dirty filter sock doesn't stop working, it just starts working against you. And that trapped waste doesn't disappear. It continues to break down, releasing nutrients back into the system. That's why changing filter socks regularly is so important. For most systems, swapping them out about twice a week is a solid rule of thumb. Some tanks can go a little longer, some need more frequent changes, but the point is consistency. When you pull a sock, make sure it gets clean properly. Rinse it thoroughly, wash it without detergents, and let it dry completely before reuse. One of the easiest ways to make this maintenance painless is having backups on hand. That way you're not scrambling to clean socks the same day you need them. This is where something like the Waterbox Filter Sock subscription actually makes a lot of sense. Fresh socks show up automatically and maintenance becomes a quick swap instead of a chore you put off. And it's not just filter socks. Filter sponges and pads fall into the same category. They absolutely count as mechanical filtration and they need the same attention. If it traps the breeze, it needs to be cleaned regularly. There's really no getting around that. Once mechanical filtration catches the larger stuff, that's where the protein skimmer steps in. A protein skimmer is another form of mechanical filtration, but it works a little differently. Instead of trapping particles, it removes dissolved organic compounds before they have a chance to turn into nutrients. It's literally pulling waste out of the water and collecting it into a cup you can dump down the drain. And that's a huge win for water quality. A properly tuned skimmer can make a massive difference in how stable and clean your reef stays over time. But like everything else in this hobby, it does need some upkeep. You'll want to check your skimmer regularly to make sure the water height and skimmit production look right. If it's overflowing, it needs adjustment. If it's barely producing anything, it might need tweaking or cleaning. Dumping and rinsing the collection cup regularly is a must, and gently wiping the neck helps keep foam production consistent. A few times a year, it's also a good idea to pull the skimmer pump and give it a proper cleaning. Salt creep, calcium buildup, and debris can all reduce performance over time, and a clean pump keeps everything running efficiently. When you put it all together, mechanical filtration is really the foundation of a healthy reef tank. Catch waste early, remove it often, and keep your equipment clean. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications.